YouTube! This is something I had been thinking about. Um, safety and batteries and all this equipment. All these amp going through wires, inverters. I don't really want to strap this stuff to my walls. And I thought, you know, I could do, uh, you know, hardy board and stuff like that. But I really want to contain it all. So at least gives me, you know, some possibility of, you know, if I have a smoke detector that's going to alert me that something's going wrong and then I can try to uh, do something about it you know have some time to do something about it just safety stuff so this is this is what I came up with so uh, basically I'm going to have this is my battery cabinet so it's uh, really just a garage steel garage shelf uh, 72 inches tall uh, I think it's 18 inches deep. Oh, here's the dimensions right here. Let's see. 30 inches wide, 18 inches deep, 72 inches tall. It's got a 400 pound capacity. So it's pretty, pretty tough. And I got this at the Walmart. And uh, really because everywhere else it was kind of way more expensive. And they had one built on the shelf and I checked it out and it looked pretty good. So, um, I think this is going to work pretty great. And so my plan is, of course, to get it built and, uh, I'll get it built and I'll show it to you. Um, but I'm going to clean out this corner here. And so this is where it's going to go. So it's going to go in that corner. I know it's messy in here. I've got to clean this place out. I'm kind of a slight hoarder if you can't tell, but, um, yeah, it'll go in this corner. And this is my garage door right here. So my plan is, if I can get some kind of alert that something, if something goes wrong, my plan is I can lift up my garage door and I can throw this thing out. You know, because if something's going wrong, a fire extinguisher is not going to put, you know, all this power out. They're going to still, they're going to still want to go. So I'm going to get this garage door open and then I'm going to fling the whole cabinet out into my driveway. <laughs> so that's my plan. I think it's gonna work out. All right, guys, so it's put together the power cabinet. Oh, gotta unlock it. So just have the one shelf in right now, but uh, I mean, uh, lots of room, lots of room. Got a little light stuck up there, but uh, you know, that's, that's about three kilowatts <laughs> right there. So plenty of room for batteries. And then up here, I'm gonna put my charge controllers and uh, probably the inverter. I'll probably have some, uh, I might add some active ventilation, you know, into this thing. Uh, definitely will add some active ventilation, especially if I'm gonna put the inverter in here. So I might cut out some holes to, um, you know, put some fans in or something. But yeah, I'm digging this. I like the idea of it being contained in something metal to give me some some time to react to anything potentially bad that could happen. So um, yeah, so, so this is going to go over here in this corner, and uh, uh, I'm probably going to put a uh, AC sub panel. Maybe I'm going to put it on this. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'm not to think about that. I'm either going to put it on this or the wall. I might just put it on this. Yeah, because why not, right? I mean, the whole thing can just be self-contained. That way, if I ever move, <laughs> you know, if I sell this house, uh, I just load it up. Load the panels up. Load this up, and we're off. Anyways, there you go.